Hello test takers and welcome back to exam prep solutions. Today we're going to be doing another water resources problem. We're going to be looking at different weir formulas here. So go ahead, give this problem a shot before I reveal the solution. Okay, let's get into this one. Find the difference in flow between a free discharge suppressed and contracted weir. The weir is rectangular and has a head of 10 feet over a length of 5 feet. Okay, so we know we're going to need two equations here. The first one we need is Q equals C L h raised to the three halves power because that is the free discharge suppressed and then we want the free discharge contracted so that be q equals c l minus 0.2 h and then that's all going to be multiplied by h raised to the three halves so those are our two equations let's find the discharge suppressed first so q equals c C is 3.33 uh, for a rectangular weir, so that's what we're going to use for that. The length was 5 feet, and then the height was 10. 10 raised to the 3 halves power. Okay, so we get 526.519. Uh, let's just make that 527 for our ease right there, CFS. Now let's look at the other equation. Q equals C, 3.33 is what we use, times the length, which was 5 feet minus 0.2 times h, so 0.2 of 10 is just 2, times h of 10, that's also raised to the 3 halves power. Now let's calculate that, that equals 315.9, let's just round up to 316 here, so we got 316. So we wanted us to find the difference in flow, so we're going to go 527 minus 316, equals 211, that is really close to 210 uh, CFS. So we are going to select answer B. As our answer here, did that problem makes sense. If you have a question, you should leave it in a comment down below. We also have a free guide how to solve any FE exam problem in five steps. You should download that guide. It's for free in the description box down below. If there's any other problems you'd like to see on the channel, let me know in a comment. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys next time.